guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we'll be making this lovely handkerchief um top like a triangular top a poncho some people call it poncho okay so you can make this in less than five minutes ten minutes max okay so i'm going to be illustrating this uh, what i was doing on my fabric on this paper because I'm not sure my, my camera can capture everything on this table, okay? So, I have my fabric here. I'm using a lightweight fabric chiffon, okay? You can use any lightweight fabric. It's, it's very, very okay for um, for this type of style. So, I'm using a chiffon. You can use between one yard to two yards. It depends on the size and the length you need, okay? So, what I have here on my table, I have... I have a 60 by 60 okay I have a 60 by 60 folded into two okay let's assume that this is my fabric so I measured out 60 your fabric should be in in a square form okay so since here is 60 I want here also to be 60 here 60 here 60 okay hope we get that so I fold my fabric into two like this You fold your fabric into two. That's the first folding. Then you fold it again into four. That is the second folding. So it's four layers here. Okay, let me take that again. My fabric I have folded on my table already. I have to pin it down because you know how chiffon is. So I already pinned everything down. So this is my fabric. I have length 60. 60 60 60 here in front of a square so i'll first of all fold the first fold like this okay then i'll fold the second fold like this as well so this is what i have here this closed edge here is this place on my table and this open edge here is this place okay on my fabric the rest that is open is this and this side so this is it. The way this paper is, that is the way it is on my fabric. I hope we get that now. So the only thing to do next is to, from, from here, in case you're not seeing that angle on my table. So from here, remember this is the open side. This is the closed side. From this open side, this open side is your sleeve side. The sleeve side and this closed side is your center front and center back okay so from this closed side this place you are going to be taking your your um neckline sorry your shoulder measurement so let's assume your shoulder measurement divided by two is three inches you take your three inches from here then the sleeve length where you want the sleeve to stop you take it okay Let's assume that this is here. But me, I calculated everything to be 30. So I, everything is 30 on my table. So I'm using everything. So from this side, remember what I said? The first thing, from this open side, from this open side, I said this is our sleeve. From that open side, you take your shoulder measurement divided by two. Since I'm using paper, um, I'm assuming it's three. That's my shoulder measurement divided by two. So after that, you shift your tape through and take your um, sleeve length where you want the sleeve to end, okay? But it's more finer if it ends at the wrist or even after the wrist, okay? So let's assume that the, the, the sleeve length is this edge 5.5. So from this 5.5 now, you're going to take it slightly straight to this point. I hope we can see what I'm, I'm talking about. Okay, yes, we can see it. So from this edge, 5.5, we're taking this slant to this edge. Okay? So this is it. Slant from here, from this point, straight to the edge of the center front. Remember I said the open side, the folded open side is your sleeve while the closed side is your center front 
okay so from this sleeve you take it down straight to this point okay so then you impute your neckline measurements the neckline i'll be using yeah, as you can see from the picture on your screen the neckline is not deep rather it's wide it's like a wide canoe neck so whenever you have a neckline to avoid gaping once the the width of the neckline is wide the depth should be, should be high okay but once the depth is um is very deep then the width the width of the neckline should be small okay hope we get that so for this my fabric i will be using like five inches for the neckline but on this paper let me assume it's two inches and the depth will be one inch so i'll connect we are done with the with the top like i said we can do that please i'm using a paper scissors always have scissors for your paper and for your fabric so i'll cut out and i'll cut out the neckline and here you have it here you have your top okay here you have your top so you go to your sewing machine and stitch about one inch here one inch here just to hold it together and that's it so what i did on this paper is what i'm going to be doing on my fabric so I hope we understand, in case you do not understand on the fabric, you should understand the paper all. okay? So like I said, I have 30 inches here, okay? So with my straight ruler, I'm going to rule from here straight down, from the edge here. You have to pin if you're working with chiffon you know chiffon can be crazy at times you can see what is happening here if you can see it so that's why i have to pin i'll use this now to hold it you can see it was shifting the measurement was shifting so i'll cut that out now So this is what I have here, okay, I've cut it out. So from this um, center front, like I said, it, it's going to be a canoe neck, wide neck, but high. It's wide at the width and high at the length. So I'll be using three inches, three inches for the depth. And for the width, I will use five inches. Okay, five inches for the for the width, three inches for the depth. So I'll connect. So feel free to adjust the measurements, the the neck measurements, the the blouse length measurements, the sleeve length measurement. Feel free to adjust it to your taste. Okay, the measurements I'm using, they are not standard. There is no standard here. It just your preference. Okay. And this is it. This top is as good as done because um, the only thing you have to do now is to, you can either hem it or use industrial weaving. All these uh, uh, sides. You can hem it or use industrial weaving. Then the neckline, you use bias to turn it or facing if you like. Okay. So this is our top. This is what we have. Okay. So you hem round. Okay. Then use bias to do the neck. You can increase the neck if you want. It totally depends on you. Then another thing you can do is to come and stitch it around this area. Just about one inch or two inches up. Just to secure the front and the back. 
okay because it's a very very free top you so i'll go now to to hem the this part then use wires to secure the neckline stitch what i said which is just around here just use your eye gauge to just stitch it here okay and we are done so i will show us on the mannequin what we have made if you've watched so far kindly subscribe to this channel give it a thumbs up like share comment and i'll see us in my next video so i'll go now to do this and show us what we've made on the mannequin hey guys so this is what we have yeah i'm the one that shifted the the neckline to one side because that's the fun of having a kino neck you can shift it to one side and you can equally keep it keep it like this okay so see what we have here can we see this this is the sleeve yeah and look at the place i stitched just to put them together here okay thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video till then bye